here we are on the bridge of an Egg Harbor 37 Sportfish convertible. Very nice family structure, all welded aluminum. Does need a new top, uh, new eyes and glass, and the seller is prepared to make a concession on the price to account for the condition of the bimini and the full enclosure. Very, very nice condition overall. Richie Compass, starboard gauges, engine synchronizer, good anchor wind, windless, good being the brand name with a remote control right here. Separate stereo up here on the bridge. Electronics box here with a non-functioning fish finder. This is the view out of the flybridge onto the foredeck. There is a dinghy crane that's dismantled right now and off the boat, but it mounts here on the bow. We'll lift the dinghy onto those uh, dinghy storage blocks up right there. Designed for a rib, but there is no rib included. You see the fenders. Good windless anchor, anchor chain. About 100 feet overall of uh, shore, shore power cords included, some of which are here on the bow. Remote operating spotlight. And you can see the base of the outriggers here, horn. These are the RUP dual spreader outriggers. You hear them come with the boat down to the ground. Nice combing pads. The white combing pads that you see there are being replaced. They'll be brand new for the new buyer to enjoy. Rod holders here mounted on the after the flybridge. See a set of dock stairs there. Very rugged, very nice to come with the boat. And the stairway down to the aft deck. On the starboard side. Close up on the wing pads here, all the way around the fishing deck. Remote VHF. Shot of the flybridge and bimini structure. Another outrigger. starboard side. Dual shore power cords here. Fresh water, raw water, wash down. Pumps. You can see the floor is in very nice shape here on the aft deck as well. Everything seems very solid. Charcoal grill. Beautiful engraved picture window here as you enter the salon. And Egg Harbor's renowned woodworking throughout the interior of this boat and on the exterior as well. Here we enter the main salon with the original Egg Harbor table that's on a hydraulic lift, goes up and down. That will come with the boat. This is a newly upholstered settee that opens up to sleep two. Wet bar, air conditioning which is on board but not known to be working at this time. And there's a barmate device that will dispense five different beverages here on the bar. We'll get it right here. Push a button and a shot of your favorite beverage will come out of here with fresh water there. Flat screen TV, full surround sound in this room. 
adjacent to the salon is the galley, under counter refrigerator, plenty of storage, convection microwave, electric stove, boat has a bone in generator, and tremendous, again, tremendous paneling job here right from the factory. So there's no lower, no lower uh, helm station on this boat whatsoever. There's a built-in ice maker. Everything was known to be working the last time the boat was, was running, which was a couple of years ago. A few steps down to the forward master berth. Queen size with a tremendous amount of very beautiful woodworking in nice condition. Headliner is in very nice shape. The new owner may want to upgrade the flooring to their personal taste, but uh, this flooring, excuse me, this rug is uh, new within the last three, three or four years. Uh, could be restored with a good cleaning. We have a head with the joining doors, one to the main companionway, and one from the master. Stepping back to give you a little perspective on that. Mr. Berth heading back up into the salon. To starboard, you have a twin sleeper here, Pullman style, one upper, one lower. Storage cabinet, carpeted floors. Two operable ports, overhead lighting. Central vac. Storage here, very nice storage pantry. So under the stairs, which we've just raised, find a water heater. Take a peek under here. 